Hey everyone, Tim with the Collect Jurassic. We're on our first official Jurassic World Dominion toy hunt. Uh, I know I've had a couple Dominion toys in my possession, but have yet to find any in store, but there's been some uh, spotting of uh, six inch base, basic figures in all these stores. And I've gone to uh, two all these stores in my area so far and come up empty handed. This is the third one. I got a good feeling about this one because it's one of the bigger ones. So we're gonna go check out. We're looking for Easter, Easter toys. It's with the Easter toys. So if you have one of these, all these in your area, check the Easter toys or Easter section. Um, this looks like some, some Easter stuff here. Uh, Hot Wheels. All kinds of stuff. Oh, here we go. Bingo. Here we go. Wow, the whole case is here too. So we got a uh, Therizinosaurus here. Uh, ooh, Giganatosaurus as well. Love to see it. Look at that thing. So cool. So, uh, and then they have blue as well, but blue is not a new figure. Um, this is a, a kind of a repaint or whatever. So um, I like how they have the little Jurassic World logo here. It's the Fallen Kingdom logo for what it's worth. But but it's cool that they're getting their like their own official little display here. You can see again all the other Easter Easter items around here um, that they have just in this area. But right here, a little upright with uh, all these six inch pictures. Looks like looks like they go way back too. So. There's plenty, plenty to look at here. So I'll go ahead and um, check out and open this guy up in the car and we'll take a look at him. Sound good? So give me a second, I'll go ring out and then we'll, we'll get these guys open in the car. All right, so we are back in the car. No bags at all these, so just have to carry these out by hand. Let's go ahead and open these guys up. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do, holding, um, holding my hand or holding one hand holding the camera, one hand holding the toy, but I am a professional, so I do think that I can, I can do it. Let's go ahead and get Therizinosaurus out too first. Oh, I gotta say, I'm probably most excited about Giganotosaurus because that is a figure I don't have. Therizinosaurus, of course, I have the bigger figure of it. Check out that review, but here's the smaller version. Very nice. Looks just like the bigger figure, honestly, and it has a really nice paint too. The eyes are uh, got a little bit of yellow paint on them. Nice color on the neck. Has that red on the back too. Really just hitting all this, the major paint points of the bigger figure. Of course, the teeth, there's no teeth because there's no articulation here um, with the mouth. But there's articulation with the, um, with the legs and then the hands with the big claws, which are the signature, you know, Therizinosaurus. Um, design is those big claws so um really cool. cool fun little design i wish they would have done some like neck articulation or something i feel like that could have that could have made this guy a little more dynamic but again they don't do that with these simple figures so this is kind of what you get you get a uh very basic but um you know still a really cool figure got all the nice little details with the feathers see the feathers and the tail and all that so all things considered pretty fun little guy therizinosaurus i like it this claws i didn't even i was so excited to open these i didn't even look at the box i mean if you've watched any of my other videos of the packaging it's it's all it's all basically the same right um have the uh on the back blue was available too and i went over that in the store but otherwise you know nothing too fancy about the box so there's therizinosaurus let's go ahead and open up Giganatosaurus again. This is the one I'm really excited about because it's the only one that's that I don't have a, any figure of yet, and it's the new, the new big baddie. So go ahead and open that up. Get Giganatosaurus out. My first Dominion Giganatosaurus figure. There it is. Really nice, really nice ridge on the back. Look at that. They really captured that from the movie really well. Um, let me check the eye paint on him. Yeah, he's got pretty decent eye paint on both sides. Uh, this side, yeah, it's all pretty good actually. So, um, same articulation as Therizinosaurus with the, the legs and the arms, but otherwise nothing too fancy with, uh, with Giganatosaurus here. No articulated mouth. There is sculpted teeth, 
but uh, they aren't painted on these cheaper figures. Um, but all things considered, still really nice detail. I mean, look at the, the ridge on the back and all the scales to the body. And then there's the, the head, nice close up of the head, both sides of it. A nice little mean but serious look on its face. No paint on the tail, <coughs> but um, that's really cool. Again, my, my first Giganatosaurus figure that I've gotten um, from Mattel. Uh, many more to come, I'm sure. Let me see if I can get this guy to stand up. Yeah. There's Xenosaurus, Giganatosaurus. Just found the Aldi store, literally sitting here in the parking lot after I just bought them. Hope you enjoyed this little impromptu in my car unboxing. I think that's all I got to say about these guys. Again, I'm Tim Collector Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next toy hunt.